Hey, 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 out there, interwebs. Welcome to another stream of Alan Wake Remastered. This is part three through our spooky ass adventure through uh, the sadistic, creepy, shadowy world of Alan Wake, where the moonsters are trying to get him in the shadows. And uh, he's kind of in his own story that he's writing right now because he's absolutely insane. So let's see if we can make it out of here alive. If not, then I guess we're just boned. I assume so. See, I don't see anybody else on the other side, so. Uh oh. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? No, I'm groggy as shit. Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. Mm -hmm. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, I'd like to punch you in the head again? with me. We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Just everything. Yes, it will do you good. And how does he know that I forgot everything? This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except mm. for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. What are you unlocking? This the way, keyhole's Alan. above you. Hmm. Place is very creaky and Oh god. What the hell? Can I go in here? All right, let's go, dude. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. Alice is dead. No. You're in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. No. Alice drowned. And you couldn't face that. Uh -huh. You're suffering from hallucinations. Paranoid I mean, delusion. Like you, you're in hallucination. Unusual hallucination. thinking, an obsession about light and darkness, mm -hmm. a feeling that everything revolves around you, yeah, your it. thoughts and dreams. Good doors. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. She has been kidnapped, and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you. Mm -hmm. We go this way, Alan. I wasn't ready for another shot. So I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. It's all in your head. Nice mountain range you got out here. It up. Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Yeah, that's Unless it. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're well, a skeptic people who are dying, nature, right? Sure, Alan. We both know this. Everything can be explained logically. What's blocking out the sun? A shit ton of fog. Can I go in here? No need to check on me. I'm good. I'm good. A big ass sundial. Hmm. Wow. Oh, here, buddy. Ah, I never get tired of this view. I do. Very inspiring, isn't it? Cauldron Lake spread below us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. 
I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. Yeah. It seems there's a storm coming. Considering I can't see I shit over there. Being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Well, no matter. This way, follow me. You didn't see that telling rain? What I'm telling you is good news. Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Not surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Oh yeah? After all your nightmares, this should come as an immense relief to you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because well? I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's very natural for you to think of me as your enemy. It's part of the I let him talk. Hartman I'm obviously loved his own voice. His words echoed madly him. inside my head. But I, I dug my nails into the palms myself. of my hands to stay focused. You need to work with me. Once you accept that, hmm. we can begin the journey towards your recovery. Yeah, well, if I've been here for fucking weeks, then how come I have this gash above my head that should be, I don't know, healed if I was here for a long time? I mean, just throwing that out there. Hmm. I was check my stream when I get a second here. I mean, double check and make sure this thing is rocking the right direction, huh? If not, then I guess we're in trouble. Oh, it went back down, so that shouldn't be a big issue. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm just double checking because my stream kind of just spikes every once in a while. And. I lose quality when it does that. I put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. I say, woo, woo, woo. Hmm. Gotta unlock everything around here, huh? Come along. Let's go inside. Well, you know all the doors are unlocked now, right? You creepy bastard. Come on, come on. Sit up. Oh, here's the entrance to the office wing. That's for staff only. You were impressed by my trophies when you first arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. You're garbage. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. Scary, scary, scary. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Oh, yeah? Please, Emerson. Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Yep. Emerson. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He's one of he the game programmers. Video games. Ooh, yeah. It's ah. trash, of yeah. course, yeah. but it does I'll involve some small yeah. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. La, 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 Who are you la, fighting? Alan, please, this way. Nope, suck, uh, something. I'm leaving. <sighs> oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Mm. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. 
Yep, you're now you're in school, old poop. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is all over here. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Went out in the storm? Beautiful weather. Should be out more often. All right, let's go, you shit heel. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. Nope. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. Mm -hmm. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. Trying to dupe me into it. Yeah. Put me in here. Put me in there. What, oh, is he doing something? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? All right. My rheumatism's killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm. I hope it wipes this place off the face of the earth. You and me and both, buddy. these two are the Anderson brothers. Odin and Tor. They had a... How should I put this? A heavy metal band. They can be the Odin, but not and Thor. Called it's, old gods of Asgard. It's Tor. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. I think After he just mispronounced broke it. Up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. They're well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing mm -hmm. more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. No, that won't do. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? Yeah, yeah, you walking ass wipe. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. Oh, yeah, you and me both. Love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah. Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? It takes crazy to know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Zane, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we? I'm not Tom. He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla. We wrote it all down, lest we forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. A rash? But you My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> we have guys. a stash of the special stuff at the farm. I'll keep it in my formula. secret place. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember like moonbeams on the brain. Oh. Oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. What? She used us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you too, didn't she? I guess. That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator and artist, not, uh, hard go. I thought they, they gave you a rash. Did in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. What? She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden. 
old and stupid. No Doesn't argument mean here. had to open it all the way, god damn it. Ah, fuck. You guys playing a little bit of Night Springs? So tired. Built the farm close to the lake, a place of power. Well, maybe you'll get we your power back. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. Yeah, I'll get right on that. Fat Bob Balder threw the app through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head. Fifteen stitches of the concussion. Oh, yeah? Bob's dead, though. Leukemia. Poor guy. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. Pff, bad scene. Hmm. It's all a bad tired, scene. I'm tired, man. So tired. Damn, all I can go is my room. Lame. You still out here? Bad dream, and you can't wake up. You can't hurt a nightmare because Bob What the hell, man? You flip over the couch? They're only in your head, and they're not there when you wake up. So you can't wake up because I'm in charge now, and I don't want to disappear. My nightmare is the publisher people who want to make a contribution so they can say they made a contribution. And then we end up with mullets in there because they think mullets are funny, but it wasn't supposed to be about mullets, and now it's about mullets. And when it's in slow okay. motion, they call it mullet time because the numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we need oh, to go bullet big time. in the target demographic and they're not even kidding they mm -hmm. anything else well there's only so much uh, black or blue paint you can put on that all right buddy hey i can actually see the other side well i was up and down the mountains all over to them because they're not scared of me and everyone should just shut up hey wake why don't you humor dr hartman and give the writing a shot huh typewriters in your room you can get to your room by those stairs wake i punch you in the junk is that cool can i do that is that cool he wants to control the story something's wrong i'm not myself it's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. Well, that's it's creepy. been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. I wonder if Alan Wake 2, he's like still in there writing. You know what I mean? Hartman had mentioned that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. That is my room. Anybody else's room? Yeah, we come in here. We're gonna fuck up your room. What the hell is this? All right, all right. Hartman wanted me to write. I knew I couldn't, but I figured I should just play along for now. It was the only thing I could do with Nurse Birch watching me like a hawk. Night Springs. It's a DVD. That, uh, I think in the original one, it was, uh, Xbox 360 sitting right here. I'm not sure what the hell that's supposed to be. Like, a generic game system because it's on PS5 and Xbox Series X or whatever. Night Springs, the video game. Wait a minute, it's the video game. It's not a DVD. Wow. I want to play that. Let's do it. You got in your lane. So everybody should be in their rooms, right? The ones that are not fishing. Hmm. Oh, now it's locked. Damn. What 
the lime and the coconut and drink it all up. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. Sure. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Let's kick his ass, he bass. About, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Hey, you calm, uh, calm down down there. Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Na ha ha ha! Oh, Lord. It's my son. Sinclair store. looked bad. I'm that wasn't a love it. tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. And if she was one of Hartman's goons, well, she had I'll it coming. I could get the key baby. and office wing from Sinclair. Shit's wacky. Hold on a second. I think my Thomas internet dipped on me a little bit. Rise up in their name. Hmm. Did it fix itself? Hold on a second, guys. I need, I need to figure out. Well, it might not have, so. Um, I don't know if it did or not. What the hell? He hit him with a hammer? The stage is all yours, Tom! Seize I your destiny! I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken all my manuscript pages. That's where he'd been keeping them. Come out and face the music, Birch! It's time to pay the piper! Okay, and Maybe you could come out and beat our wrinkled adult diapered asses for it, since you're so tough, Birch. Oh, dang. I just want to know we what to do with that hammer. Old man! You think we haven't seen punks like you before? Mortal <laughs> name! The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. I was trying to figure out how she got here, or maybe she just called. Man, there's a lot of uh, death in here, or weird shit. Wolves, maybe? Okay, so now those guys look familiar. Huh. All that shit. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? <sighs> he's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. Mm. He's getting violent. He's. Do you mean with you? No, not with me. No, never. I. Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me, because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. No, oh, damn. But no. He just, Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work, well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated. And I can't talk to him. Yes. Tell me, Mrs. Wake. What would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know either. It's you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind hey your yo. eyes. And I don't like that very much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No. No. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems. Always going he's on. He's way deep in his problems. Else. The storm happened or what? Dark. I'm so alone here. Even when he's home. Please help me, doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, 
Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll We're be sure to bear that. that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. No shit, he's gonna be playing you. Let me out of here! Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna do your crazy quack ass to shred! Barry? Ow! About time! Barry! Say, hey, what the hell are you doing in here? Glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah. I mean, no! The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else I'd sue their ass. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Yeah. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Hartman, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. It's not good. I was like, uh, so you didn't have to shoot him. It's a weird smirk that Alan had. That was very weird. The dark presence would be on me in a moment. I had to find a way out. Oh shit, yeah, it's everywhere. Shit's all wackadoodle now. Oh. Damn. Ah, damn. Shit's creeping up. Run, 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 run. Live, damn it. Oh. I think it stops working after a few minutes. Yeah. Maybe you can start. Hmm. It's not working again? Come on, guy. What else is coming after me? The deer head and shit? I don't know how many times the damn generator is going to work.
Come on, light, work for me. See if we can do this. Oh, damn. Gotta pick up the manuscript page, right? to the doors. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Oh shit, I gotta get it the bash through here. He's still back there? Oh shit. Did he even do anything? Last second, last second, we'll get out of the way. Ah, oh, damn, it missed again. Don't have a light. Take this, Al. I guess. Oh God! Look at the house, Al. Look out! The house is fucking pissed. Oh damn. Working on it, Barry. I'm working on it. Damn, give me a second. Yeah, that's terrifying. What's up, I? How are you? Good lord, there's too much shit going on. Ah, I don't want to go through the hedge maze. This shit is insane. All right, let's do it. Ah, oh, shit. I can't remember which way you're supposed to go either. It's like. Harry Pooter all over again, huh? I can hear those evil guys moving around. No shit, they're moving around. Oh. Just 
don't trust who? Email. Evil you mean? <laughs> no shit. I don't plan on doing it either. Did I just walk in a big ass circle? I did, didn't I? Oh shit! Are you the TV repair man? Obviously not that way. The we turn it off. Oh god. We don't want any fighting. It makes peace. This is not good. I how's everything looking by the way? My uh stream bits is uh looking a little down. I don't know if it looks okay. smoked the birds are intense let's hear it's going while you're in the channel turn it off we don't want any fighting it makes peace yeah well, I'm gonna try to F you up where I can buddy you watch you get two barrels in the morning and then you'll be nice and cool you get three barrels in the evening. Oh, man. You sleep like a baby. Yeah. Crows. I don't remember it being that cracked out. That's twice I went down to him. Is it because I don't have I only have one flare? Maybe I'll just take care of the crows first. Maybe they beefed him up when they did the remaster. I don't know. You get two Then you'll be nice and cold. I'm gonna get these damn crows first. Damn, he is pissed. Light seems to be We don't have any trouble, and I don't
Loading on his ass. Woo! The crows. Taking care of business. Is there anything else over here? Did they seriously think I was gonna fight his ass the way it was, or no? They don't really don't have anything else over here. Hmm. Yeah, that's all they gave me. I don't like you, huh? Headshot. So I whooped his ass and they expected me to have bullets still? What kind of horse shit is this? There we go. Now, if I remember right, this is where shit gets a little dicey. These dudes are effing everywhere. Yep, I remember it. I think I'm going down. I will try my best. Something maybe? No. I don't remember. It's been a hot minute. Or was this the gate? Hard to remember. How's everybody doing tonight? He's doing okay? You hanging in there? See, if I remember right, these SOBs try to See, they try to get you over here. Why you always get ready to go? Try to outsmart the NPCs, you know what I'm saying? Wherever you can. They kind of come out of the woodwork. Like sharp corners, shit like that. If I remember right, it should be right over here somewhere.
This is right when a chick gets weird. Yep, here we go. Get ready, pumpkin. This is where it gets freaking bananas. Uh, Barry has to get the damn door open. They start coming out of nowhere. Ow! You're alive! Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh, well, I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up, and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so, uh... It's probably fine. Barry! I'll find it! Don't worry about it! Back up against the wall, baby. Hurry up, Barry! I'm on it! I'm on it! Get out of him. That's good. Can't blow the shit out of me. Al, please tell me we're headed for the nearest. You're now leaving Bright Falls. I'm glad Come he has the cutout. Sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Crazy, but that's fine, Mary. <laughs> oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! Oh, man. We got all jacked up now. That's what happens when you let Barry drive. I'm alive, I'm alive. I think. Damn, I got effed up. Thrown out clear over here. I lost my in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Hmm. Barry! Barry! Hi, what is that? Is that a oh, note? man, you're okay! Jesus, it's what's her name? Looks like what's her name from uh, Bob's Burgers. I was trying Burgers. to get out of the car! Man, what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is That's fine. 
Forget that. Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down, though. It's like a sheer wall. Yep. Ah! Ow! There's something moving down here! Mary, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Oh! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Sure. It's the closest scared face I, I can find. find your nice. Way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. Already a disaster. Shit's barring my path. Ooh, what's up here? Oh, damn. It's all gonna come to life once that light goes out in a bit. Holy shit. It's not good. I always hate it when you don't have anything to fight back with. You need to get boned. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn, it got me. Stuck between two trees, I don't know. Stay by the trees, stay by the trees. God oh, damn it. Shit might get me, I have no idea. crawled over the gate. I needed a light to destroy them to get through. Well, I sure the hell ain't going in there. Oh no, let's go down the stairs. There's nothing in here? Damn. I hope there'd still be a working generator somewhere around here to power up the old lights by the gate. Is there anything out here? No. Gotta be on your uh, on your toes on this one. Huh? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Yeah, I'm pretty much bone, but what do you do? When they go down here, I'm boned.
Yep, I'm boned. Ah, shit. Yeah, that ain't an option. Whew. Damn. Got to run for it, dudes. Here they come. Damn. I got boned like a champ. was driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Who knows if he got boned. Crazy there's a, like a lamp deal out here, you know? Like, who would put one out here is what I'm saying. Let's see. Give me a second, I gotta get a picture of this for somebody I know. Ah, not a very good photo. Okay. okay, let's get going. A little creepy out here, but it's fine. Probably. Is there anything else out here that I can take with? See, I have no weapons still, but I have batteries at least. That's good. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. I don't think it's Barry. Again. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh, shit. They're all over the damn place. Damn, you gotta be careful. There might be one right in front of me. Worth it. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. Two whole bullets. Okay, never mind. Well, a better chance than what I had earlier. What'd that say? Taking her filled with darkness. No shit. A lot of people in this zone. Where I gotta go, or I don't even know if I'm going the right way. Shit, there's gotta be an, uh, an actual path. Yeah, right through there, I think. Right? Yeah, like here. Here's the path. Watch out for those. Might be one hit hit in the bushes. Ah, damn it. My 
now, boy. I ain't no prey, you piece of shit. Ah, damn. Maybe I am. I was looking for the third one. Didn't like that, huh? I don't like my foot getting caught in traps either. I just want to be caught off guard on traps. Oh shit, I'm out of those, so that doesn't work. Damn, they literally are everywhere. Holy hell. Ah, damn it. Caught. Oh, shit. God damn it. They're everywhere. It's just the traps that make it worse. I thought it was dead for sure. Four bullets. Damn, they about had me. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Because the driver is trying to survive, man. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Not Barry. Danny, you're not. Ah! Please. Ah! What, what, what are you? What are you? Ah! No, 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 going on I'm there? sorry. Ah, ah, ah. What the hell in here? Oh, shit. Uh, I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again uh, for the moonshine you know <laughs> it makes you see they're they're not gonna miss it no it's not very you're the fine I. Bin. Uh, my buddy danny i lost him something's gone wrong with him uh, it's not him <laughs> like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie the best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway damn did he die I am creaking around I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be downstairs free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. 
I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Okay. I know that fucker's downstairs. They, like blast through the window or something. Could be in here somewhere. Yep. That's his buddy Danny. Hi, Danny. Yes, Danny, huh? Damn, Danny. Blasted through that window, huh? Pocket chairs going. The front door was locked. The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. What's over here? You guys see that shit too? Oh, there's a manuscript page. Hm. Nothing out here in Grandma's hunting shack. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Right, Barry was Barry, did you know? Some wacky ass shit. Broskies. Down to the farm. That's the farm there, right? Should be at least a road there, right? Or somewhat of a road. Yeah, I see like this bullshit right here. Anybody else out here? There's one dude out here. Is he still out here? That ran his ass over, I thought. Hood off.
Damn thing blew up, huh? I guess it could go this way and cut through, right? Pretty kick-ass setup here for I'd their concert. I know the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Man, that is kick-ass. Ow! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! God damn! That's what I said. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Bronson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them off! I can set off four of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Is there some ammo and stuff around? This place is stopped! Al, hold on! I'm trying to get the stage lights on! Tell you that, Barry. Ah, oh, damn, I tried dodging. Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Damn, we blew the shit out of that thing, huh? Why did not come up back behind the stage here and try to kill us? But fucking dragon, make sure of that shit, huh? 
you guys think of the show? Blow your fucking socks off or what? Hey, ow! This way to the farm! Look at that old ass bus. Is there anything on the bus? Nope. Hey, wait a minute. What's over here? Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think riders were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. I'll tell you what, though. I'm pretty sure the FBI agent that's in Alan Wake 2 is looking for Agent Nightingale. But if I remember right, Nightingale gets smoked from the darkness too. Start fucking up, mother suckles. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Oh, yeah? I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. Yep, the cutout, man. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. I ain't gonna lie, that was probably one of my favorite parts of this whole thing is the Anderson farm. It's pretty damn sweet. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm gonna I'm shoot you in the face. And moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend Barry to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Yeah. Watch that shit fall out underneath us. Oh, yeah, that was really cool. Hell yeah, it was. Wow! <laughs> you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? What? Oh, the look ship, at all yeah. This stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? Ah. And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Sleep. We all spend oh, a third of our dreams in a soft embrace. Man. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Ooh, is this one of your episodes? Night Springs. In Night Springs. Let's see what we got. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Ah, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs hmm. don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Uh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Pretty crazy. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah, what's that? 
What? The alarm. Did you hear that? Oh, God help us. It's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man. I got a wife and kids. Please don't wake. Whoa, it didn't even, like, stop the end of the show. Or, like, do the end. Freaking bogus. Hmm. Can't remember if Barry has a gun or not. I don't think he does. Put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. It's the one song I remember from this whole thing is the Anderson Brothers. I think one of them comes out of nowhere. I don't remember if it's before I touched the that Viking thing. boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. And away it goes, shit heal. Jump off the edge, right? Are we in here? LA, Washington, New York, New Jersey, Florida. Hmm. I think you can just jump down there, right? Maybe not. They're gonna come right out on the corner is what they're gonna do. Blasting the shit out of everything. I'm pretty sure he can't make it through here. I'll get my ass fried through here. Shit's getting messed up out there, are you? <laughs> I just wanted to see him get hit by it. Makes my day.
You don't want to get that demon truck. I'll get you. No, well, let me jump over there. Huh? How's it going, Barry? Wow! Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff. Some online, hella moonshine. Get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this. Stuff. What is going on here? Um, this shit open. Lovely place you have here. Be careful, Al. I'm right above you. It's fine. Probably. Maybe, I don't know. Whoa. You okay, Al? Nope. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? I am not okay. Yeah, shit. The radio or must be above me. Yep, there she be. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I bet that keeps you in business. Super busy. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. Mm -hmm. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, I was just saying we got, you know. One of the radio keys playing if I go upstairs. Fly. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing too. Really? Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just you know. Uh, a lot more, right? Now, does Deer Fest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier. They get wasted. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking to you, Gordon. Uh, I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. The real goods. Really, I just can't kick that old door open? What the hell? Damn combine's gonna get me. That's what's gonna suck. And all I got is this damn... Here it comes.
on, Buckaroo. Ah, damn it. Shit, he's gonna fuck me up. He mowed me over like a champ, or harvested me. That's the way how you want to say it. Damn. Damn, damn. There's just no good way of doing it. You gotta get him stuck on like a fence or something. Didn't really give time for the other ones to show up, huh? We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Like a key or something here, right? Oh, no, no key. Ah, uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. I had to find a key to get Barry out. Try to find a key to get the door open. Ah, damn it. Hey, what's the hold up? Come on, this place is all dusty. You know I got my allergies. Sure. Hey, let's go, man. Who the hell is this guy talking to? I'm waiting on him. What the hell? Have to work to open this gate out. It's pretty heavy. Oh damn, I thought I needed to blow that thing up, but I didn't. Whoops. I just came from that side. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We no should shit, feel right dude. at home then. Oh, sorry, buddy. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. <laughs> Old gods know the truth. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Is this a toilet? Pile of trash in the house. Man, they ripped the fucking fridge clear off the door. I wonder if there's that one guy. He was like looking for the booze or whatever. Those fireworks? Wasn't anything in here, right? I think the damn thing's upstairs. The power downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. 
You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. They eat the rock with their socks off, man. I don't tell you. Pick that damn door open. Hello? Oh. Can you hear that, Al? Yeah. Music? Of course. We need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. Downstairs, That's the dummy. Whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be what's your face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. You get some Come stink on, Barry, going is... on. Yeah. What the hell? Find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, god damn it. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year, and and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, cause I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Good old Alan Wake, man. Damn it. Oh, man, it's a hit. Like, wacky ass dream, huh? I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. It was the truth. A and suppressed it's like memory playing Alan Wake in first person. I was there, an out of body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. And there he Diving goes. after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. So yes, yeah, what happened that we couldn't remember? Alice. Jagger had Alice, Alice, and so she had me. 
Alice! I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Who? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. I wouldn't recognize the dark that lady. Presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. Made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You piece you of garbage. Apologize. Alice! You laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's I think I'm taller here. than Alan right now. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. Oh no. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed ah! her. Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. Mm -hmm. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Man, this lady. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Get your damn dirty hands yes. off me. All right. I'll right, monkey. It. Right. I'll bring her back. No, oh, man. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I oh, thought damn. I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. That's smart on you, buddy. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It isn't here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my Barbara a long time ago. She looks so old. So she was alive or what? I had woken up, confused. And groggy. The hell? My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. Barbara. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. So there you go, that's what happened. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. Well, he went over the cliff. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Why was the lip sync off of that so bad? It's crazy sauce. There's an the end of episode four. Previously on Alan Wake. 
Under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. And now he was fine. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Watery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Uh. Always in the light. In the light. In the light. Huh. Old crazy lady. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Oh, that I believe. Wait, we're in jail now? Oh, Al. Al, this is not good. That about sums it up. Yep. You can everywhere. Well, my dudes, I think this is where I'm going to call it for now. Try to get both uh, whenever I do an ending. I'm probably going to do a pre-episode maybe. Depending on how long it takes us to get through stuff. I hopefully you're having a wonderful night. I'm not sure if Rickers was in here or not. I didn't see him. We got the old usual suspects in here with us. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was fun getting through. I'm just trying to get through the game before Alan Wake 2 comes out, which is October 27th. I do have... Oh, shit. Two days. <laughs> basically two days before this shit comes out actually one day because it'll be released tomorrow night wow well I'll probably still beat this and then I'll play Alan Wake 2 yeah I don't think he made it either I eh? oh yeah so yeah as per usual my dudes I upload videos all the time on Midwest plays if you're watching on YouTube I leave everything underneath my live tabs or my playthroughs and I also put each game in its own playlist so if you did miss one you can catch it there Please like, comment, and subscribe wherever you can. It goes to show me that you guys appreciate stuff that I upload in the streams that I stream, I guess. Uh, I noticed I have uh, lost a little bit of sub count. I'm not sure if that's just bots or other people dipping, but either way, hopefully we can get some more of you folks in here and hanging out with us and chatting it up and all that good jazz, because there's plenty of people out there to watch, I know, but I always appreciate the ones that stop in and say hi, including I, because she's amazing. Um, yeah. Other than that, if you're watching on Twitch, it does delete after seven days, so catch it before it's gone. If not, it's also on YouTube. So, yeah, you guys, uh, Halloween's approaching uh, very quickly. You guys enjoy yourself. I don't see you till then. Other than that, <laughs> you guys have a good night, okay? And we'll see you in the next one, my dudes. Peace out.